Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I decided to make a, another video and do a little bit more pulling in costumes. As you can see right here, I'm already sold out on the chest I can get. You can only get nine per one of these summon deals, but um, just wanted to kind of explain why I think and why I like slash look forward to the costume event. Because I think it's where you get your most bang for your buck. If you're a free to play or cheap to play player, um, this will definitely, I think, benefit. But as you can see right here, we could do the summon times 10 for 3,000, which you therefore get the hero and the costume, which means you basically get two every time. So you're getting 20 things, pretty much. 10 of the hero, 10 of the costume. Um, it's 3,000 to do Atlantis for a 10 pool, and you just get the 10 heroes. You don't get the extra costume part. And why I say the costume part and how that's important, I showed that earlier in a video. And with my Magni costume, I got him ascended all the way up to 50 from zero with just three, I mean with just 10 of the three star costumes that I had and got them to 50 and they were all red so there wasn't even his main color. So I do got some ham now so we'll ascend them. All right, and then we can level them up again, but you don't want to do it with the heroes, you do it with the costume and just again, going with opposite color with three stars. You can see how high that got him with just 10. And the cool little notion that you just saw there, if you have, if I wanted to click all three of them, they stop you. And they say this is the last costume, last copy of this costume. So they're not gonna let you feed away all your costumes and all you need is one costume Oh, no matter how many heroes you want to do. So for example purposes, I do have her already, Asarnia already maxed out on regular and costume. And the costume bonus you get for the costume, but if you click over to the regular one and click on costume bonus, you still get it for the original. So even if you don't like what the new costume effect does, it's still going to have the same bonuses for the original hero. So you can still use the original hero and it still buffs them. Which is amazing. But I, like I said, I do got um, her already maxed out and everything with her costume. So now I'll go back to my Magni. Go ahead and put him on there and then level him up. So we'll get rid of all these folks. And then we'll go back up because I do got a second a Sarnia. So I'll tap that bad boy there. So I still got the last copy of this costume. So I'll go ahead and feed this second Inari costume because I've gotten two of them so far. Level up. Alright. Then we go back to Inari. We still got my one costume. But we can go to my another Nari. Granted, y'all saw I only got one costume now. Go over to her costume. Start leveling them up. And I can level up her costume. Even though I already have that costume on another character, you can level up a second one. You just gotta do it separately with that new hero. But you only need one costume, regardless if you wanna max out five regards, five Sarnias, whatever you may want to do. You only need one costume depending on how many you need in total. And then secondly point, last point, why I think it's probably the most important. Um, we'll take a look at my troops. I think December 18th was two years for me, so now we're in May. So I've been playing this game for two years and five months. I haven't focused too much hardcore on troops, but 
For an average hero, you need a level 23 mana troop to bring them down to 9. 9 tiles needed. Fast heroes need 8. This one you would need 9 tiles, but it's not too often you make a 2 bomb attacks to get your fast heroes off. Normally you're doing it in 3 matches, which gives you 9, but that's why that fast is able to go off, but not the average, because they need 10. Well, with these costumes and that 5% mana, all you need is a level 5 mana troop. And you get them going off in 9. So not everybody can have 2 or 3 23 level mana troops. But a lot of people could have multiple 5s, which helps out for those average heroes. Like Regard. Like um, all the 4 star healers, basically. Um, Regard, Boral, um, Cademan, no, not Cademan, um, Kashrick would work there too. Um, Melindor is the same way, Boltusk, all of them are average. So they go off in nine tiles instead of ten now, which is beneficial when you're attacking and in wars and all that stuff. And it even works for five stars. So like Richard. He's average. Once I get his mana deal on him, I only need a five-star troop on him to go off in nine tiles and not ten. So I'm really debating about leveling leveling him up, a second Magni, over Missandra. And she's already fast. Just because those boosts does that much to you. All right. I done wasted seven minutes of y'all time. That's why I explain why I think this is the best you can use your money on. So we'll do our free ones first, and then probably do another 60 pool. I did 90 earlier, so this, I guess, will be 150 pools total. I did get two Magnes, so Magni is uh, one of the top ones I was wanting. I was definitely wanting a Liana and a June. So... Liana's my number one pick overall, so I'm really hoping I'll draw her. Don't expect too much out of here. About the same time, you can feed your regular heroes that you get to your actual heroes and then every single one of those get a costume as well so you feed the costumes to the the costumes you want to level up and level them up quick style so all right i did pose i did do pulls maybe 12 13 14 hours ago but i did get uh, two magnes a quintus a horgo and another hero of the month so we'll see if some of that can differentiate this time. See if I can get some new five stars. But even if I do a 60 pull and don't get no five stars, I'm gonna be disappointed just because it'll level up my folks a lot quicker. But I did wanna show everybody why I like doing these pulls and why why I see it important and how it could help your game too. Like I said, not everybody has 23 mana troops. I only got one of my five with 23. But if you do have a mana troop, it don't take long to get them to level five. All right, got a bunch of threes and fours. No new fives that go around. Nomidia does sound like she's pretty badass, but I'm like so stacked on purples. The purples is what I got the most galore on. So I don't even know if I got her because I don't got her leveled at all. I might have her at 70, but I haven't finally ascended her yet. But I don't know if I could do her costume over Clarissa. So I mean, I'm in a, a pinch for purples. 
But, like I said, I even got the Quintus costume, so. I even got him, so. Purple's I'm stacked on, and this ain't got no tabbers. This first 30 ain't looking too damn good. All right, the first 30 is a dud. Ain't nothing but feeders. Like I said, I don't mind the feeders. Let's hope these next 30, maybe we get one five star per draw, huh? That's a 40 pull there. All that explaining and how awesome costumes are for the free to play or cheap to play. It's kind of making it seem a little shittier because <laughs> I'm not getting nothing. <laughs> oh Lord. All right, let's see if we can get some luck here. Let's put it on three star and see. Because I've been getting them. My pools in the early morning were definitely a lot better. I was at a good 4.45, 5 in the morning. Now we're at past 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so. Alrighty. Should be nice. Anybody would be nice. Leon would definitely be nice. No hero of the month is go around either. I mean, I already got four of her, but more the merrier, I always say. I'm looking forward to doing that carol for sure. I was waiting for his costume to come out. Just so I can make him fast speed. All right, we're at our last pull. This will make 67 at the end of it. We're doing 57 so far with no five stars, so let's get some luck here. Mm -mm. All right, no luck this go around. Bunch of threes and fours I could feed my folks though. I didn't get um, Red Hood um, in the last go around, whatever the last event was. So I am working on her. So her, uh, Magni, and then probably Richard. Uh, Clarissa, I still need few more tabards on so I don't think she's gonna be done anytime soon but yeah I'll go ahead and damn I got 185 heroes 
All three stars and four stars I need to feed away. <laughs> and plenty of costumes, so obviously my food's going to be short here pretty soon, but I should be able to speed level quite a few people once I get uh, the ham that's needed. So, all good there in my book. So, appreciate everybody watching. Hopefully, this is a helpful video. Don't go off uh, the pulls that I received. If you want to see good pulls, go to my previous video with my 90 pulls. I think I got five five stars and 90 pull. This one I did, 67, and got zero. So, that just shows you it's all the luck of the draw. There ain't no strategy to it. It's just all random. So, if you watch them back to back, it's a good demonstration of there ain't no wrong or right way to do it, but all just based on the luck. But as far as the leveling of costumes and leveling of the heroes, um, you do get a twofer in the costume. So take that to note and use your gems wisely. And like I said, as always, like, subscribe, and comment if you like what I'm doing, if you like my polls. I usually do do a lot of polls, but... If you're just looking straight pull videos, I'm sure I'll come up. But I do always exp um, appreciate the like and subscribe. So until next time, we will see y'all soon. And hopefully y'all costume pulls went good and you got who you wanted. I did get two Magnes from the get-go. So that was uh, one of my top three that I was wanting. So I'm definitely happy with the result. So y'all have yourself a good rest of the evening. And until I guess later on today. I'll be doing tourney hits, and then again tomorrow, and we'll keep on rolling with it. Appreciate y'all watching my channel, and I will see y'all soon. Adios, amigos.